my bad. I'm sorry. I forgot you were fragile. I forgot someone who doesn't even know me told you I'm an asshole. I forgot that I'm a villain. I forgot that I've always spread positivity, but you think I didn't. I forgot that hatred stems from people who hate their own existence. Hello guys, good to have you back. So today I'll be teaching you how to add After Effect audio beat effect using Node Video app. So here's the playback of the original video footage without effects. Fragile. I forgot someone who doesn't even know me told you I'm an asshole. I forgot that I'm a villain. I forgot that I've always... So to get started, the first thing you want to do is to go to the audio panel where you'll find the beat tool. The beat tool allows you to create audio beat effects for your video or music video clip. Threshold is the minimum audio signal strength required for a beat to be detected. So I advise you to leave it at its default settings. Click on Beat Detect to automatically create beat marks on your video clip. The beat marks represent areas in the video clip where there are bass drops or drum hits. The beat effect allows you to add animation effects to the beat marks. The duration, on the other hand, allows you to set the animation time in seconds. The amount allows you to manually increase the intensity of the beat animation. Here I will set the animation type to flash. Next, click on generate effects to target. As you can see, we have some keyframes marked on the timeline. The flash effect was automatically generated from basic correction using exposure. Here's a playback of the audio flash animation. My bad. I'm sorry. I forgot you were fragile. I forgot someone who doesn't even know me told you I'm an asshole. I forgot that I'm a villain. I forgot that I've always spread positivity, but you think I didn't. I forgot that hatred stems from people who hate their own existence. Now let's go over and test out the ghost animation. As you can see, the ghost animation was also automatically keyframed from the Rabler effect. Now, let's watch how the ghost animation fits with the flash animation. My bad. I'm sorry. I forgot you were fragile. I forgot someone who doesn't even know me told you I'm an asshole. I forgot that I'm a villain. I forgot that I've always spread positivity, but you think I didn't. I forgot that hatred stems from people who hate their own existence. So I'm going to delete these effects and show you something amazing you can also try. Now I'm going to explain the function of the target feature, but first I'll add an image layer to the timeline. Next, I'll increase the image length to fit the video clip. So let's say I want to add the beat animation to an image layer. All I have to do is go to target, select the image layer and add my beat effect. This way, the beat animation will automatically be applied to the image layer instead of the original video clip. Now, let's watch a playback review and see how it looks. My bad. I'm sorry. I forgot you were fragile. I forgot someone who doesn't even know. By using this style, you can create animation layers that match the energy and tempo of your audio track. Next, let's continue by adding text to the video layer. I'll also show you how the beat animation can be useful in creating cool text animation. So I'll follow the same process, but this time I'll choose the glow effect. As you can see, the glow effect has been automatically applied to the text layer. The glow effect normally turns off the video visibility to experience a more visible glow effect. To apply the glow animation to a video clip, simply export the glow effect. Once it's done exporting, start a new timeline and add the audio video clip. Next, also add the exported glow animation effect. Now go to the effects property, select blending and choose the screen blend mode. Now our text layer is now transparent. So let's watch a playback review. My bad. Sorry. I forgot you were fragile. I forgot someone who doesn't even know me told you I'm an asshole. I forgot that I'm a villain. I forgot that I've always spread positivity. I'm also going to show you a quick tip on adding a more stylish look to the text animation. To do this, 
Simply add color grading to the text layer and go to the hue shift. The hue shift allows you to change the color of an object layer. To apply it, I'll add keyframe to the hue shift in order to create a colorful animation. And with all that, here's how it looks. My bad. I'm sorry. I forgot you were fragile. I forgot someone who doesn't even know me told you I'm an asshole. I forgot that I'm the villain. I forgot that I've always spread positivity, but you think I didn't. I forgot that hatred stems from people. You can also choose to add more animation to the audio video layer in order to get a satisfying result. So thank you all for watching, and if you learned something new today, kindly drop a like button, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing videos like this. Until next time, stay blessed.